Right, let's take a walk around this extremely smart looking 1992 on a J Land Rover Defender 110 County Station Wagon 200 TDI. Uh, been resprayed in the original red um, with a white roof. But uh, so it looks really, really smart actually. And just uh, going around it and pointing out what we've got. We've got a matching set of BFG Mud Terrain uh, TA tyres on, uh, on boost alloys. It's had a suspension lift, looks like possibly two inches. Um, we've got later bumper end caps on it. Uh, light guards front and rear, checker plate to the wing tops, modesty covers and rear quarters. Uh, snorkel, although whether that's connected or not, I don't really looked. Um, sunroof, it's in five seater spec this one. Uh, rear bumperettes, tow pack. And that's about it. So it looks really, really clean and tidy this one. It's been, um, so the previous owner, as far as I'm aware, um, had it fully repainted and I think he also said he had new doors put on it which um, we'll have a look at that at the minute in a minute and uh, see what we make of those anyway around the front end all looks really quite clean and tidy around here we haven't polished it the weather's so bad here we're just going to photograph it for the minute and uh, and see where we go from there but we we'll probably get it even shiner if we put our mind to it um, but all looks pretty straight and clean around the front end very slightly crinkled light panel just down there underneath the light unit but bonnets all uh, pretty good by landy standards um, near side front wing is all very good and certainly down the near side all looks very straight and clean and correct down there up here on the scuttle once again very very good indeed um, all looks fine up here possibly had a slight repair just there at some point in the past uh, possibly a bit of filler up there as well um, just in the top underneath the wiper unit but certainly around here all looks very correct. I don't think it's had a repair panel let in there. I'm not really sure, but it looks all looks very clean. Um, a post on the passenger side is good. Uh, roof panels all good up there. Near side door looks fine. Um, just a couple of marks. That's just dirty marks. So we've just given it a quick quick wipe over really. A um, little bit of paint loss just down the bottom of the near side door, then a little bit of electrolytic reaction just coming up on the, the base of the near side door. But um, inside here, very sort of clean and civilised. Um, cloth front seat, centre cubby box, dash is all there and good. The headlining has been replaced. Um, could be a slightly better fit around the sunroof, shall we say, but the headlining has been uh, uh, replaced with a black one. Um, and a couple of the trim panels just on top of the, the trim plastic bits on top of the rear doors uh, are in the back um, just need if you need to be refitted but I guess you want to refit them back on again um, anyway the this near side door is first class really good looks like that's been re, re um, uh, reconditioned actually that near side door rather than uh, rather than replaced because I can see a slight join there in the bottom of the frame um, this near side rear door, for some reason, the catch won't open from the outside. It does, however, open quite happily from the uh, from the inside. Um, looking in the back here, it could do with a valet, certainly in the in the rear compartment. It's obviously had dogs and stuff in it at some point, um, but it all looks uh, still fairly uh, clean and tidy. It's got these high back um, type seats in there as well, uh, which um, they're not Exmoor trim. I suppose they're Balkers ones, I think, but. Uh, um, yeah, high back rear seats in there. As I say, could do with a clean and a valet in the back there, really. It's a bit grubby in the back. It's, uh, near, oh, didn't check that near side rear door. For, I'm not going to open it again. Um, all looks pretty good from uh, from the outside, certainly. Looks like it is uh, either new or reconditioned. Um, near side rear wing is all very good. Very nice around the tail end as well. Very good indeed, in fact. Tailgate. Again, feels ultra solid, um, possibly new. Uh, in the back here, I think at some point in the past it's had the, the rear bench seats, but uh, they've been removed, normally for insurance reasons. Have got a pair of rear benches if you want them. They're not matching colours, but um, well, they're not matching to the to the front seats. But if you want them, you can have them. Um, looking down the offside again, very straight, clean, tidy, uh, shiny, and lovely. Offside rear wing is all good all around there. Um, offside rear quarters good. Again in here, very good here. There's a small hole in the uh, in the floor just there to through where you can see the box section underneath, but that's not an MOT failure on these. Um, 
this needs to be covered up really or welded over. Um, again, offside low, rear low doors, fantastic. I suspect the previous owner wasn't lying. Um, but as I say, could do with a valet really inside the uh, uh, inside the middle compartment. In the driver's side, let's have a feel again. Very, very good indeed. I think that's reconditioned the front door though, and the, the check strap is missing on the front door in there. Um, inside here, driver's seat is all very good. As I say, just a decent valley would, uh, wouldn't go amiss. There's a few sort of dirty marks here and there, but uh, they are what they are. Um, on the outside, the driver's door, just where the check strap has gone, uh, there's a slight dent and some paint loss just on the front of the offside front door. Uh, door skin just there in the usual spot where it touches the A-post. A-post itself is fantastic. Up here on the on the scuttle panel, it's fantastic as well. Looks really, really nice there. Um, screen is all good. Offside front wing is all good. This is a really, really, really nice landing. I have to say, um, if the mileage wasn't 211,000, we certainly wouldn't be selling it at 4995, and we're certainly not taking any offers on it. Um, it is... Uh, <clears throat> it's worth every penny, in my opinion. Um, cracking machine. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk. Uh, we take debit cards and Visa and MasterCard credit cards, although we do charge a 2% surcharge for credit cards. Uh, we can take part exchanges. Um, and we can deliver or ship it anywhere you like in the country, Europe, the world, wherever. That's it. End.